Direct News TV. May 26, 2024. Celtics rally late to push Pacers to brink of elimination in NBA playoffs. The Boston Celtics, fueled by 36 points from Jason Tatum, erased an 18-point deficit to beat the Indiana Pacers 114-111 and take a commanding 3-0 lead in the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Tatum added 10 rebounds and 8 assists, Jalen Brown scored 24 points and the Celtics found a way to slow down Indiana's high-octane offense in the second half to snatch the win in Indianapolis, where they will try to close out the series on Monday. Closeout games are the hardest, Tatum said after the game on Saturday, cautioning that the Celtics cannot afford to relax despite the fact that no NBA team has rallied from 0-3 to down to win a playoff series. Indiana, who were unbeaten in six prior home games this postseason, came out determined to avoid the 0-3 to hole despite the absence of all-star guard Tyrese Halliburton, who aggravated the left hamstring strain that troubled him this season in Game 2. Andrew Nembard, taking over at point guard, scored 32 points and handed out 9 assists and Pascal Siakam and Miles Turner scored 22 apiece for the Pacers, who pushed their lead to 18 in the second quarter and again in the third. But a three-point play by J. Rue Holiday, who was fouled on a driving layup and made the free throw, put the Celtics up 112-111 to with 38.9 seconds to play. It was their first lead since the first moments of the second quarter and they made it stand up, Holiday coming up with a decisive steal from Nembard and making a pair of free throws to seal it. Despite the absence of Halliburton, the Pacers got their offense firing and erased an early nine-point deficit, exploding in the second quarter to build their first 18-point lead of the contest. Nembard scored 17 points in the second quarter and the Pacers connected on 15 of their 22-shot attempts to surge past the Celtics. With 21 points by halftime, Nembard had already surpassed his career playoff high. He drilled a long three-pointer with less than five seconds left in the first half to give the Pacers a 69-57 lead at the break. Indiana were up by 18 again midway through the third, but Boston bore down defensively and reeled them in. It remains to be seen if Halliburton will be available for Game 4 on Monday. It was determined that tonight was not an option, Pacers coach Rick Carlisle said before the game, saying Halliburton would be reassessed before Game 4. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.